So his ass has to be here tonight. A bomb. Give me a break. <laughs> Team Turkey Council, then you have to carry this weapon. What's up, Hayden? Oh, look. Up in the sky, it's Supermax here to save the party. Have you yes, seen I'll anything? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No, thanks. Come on, come on. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and take a quick hit. Ich brauche gerade meine Vorstellungskraft. Und einen klaren Kopf. Hayden. Does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club party? What doesn't he pay for? The Prescott's shit money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spend? The Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to Ach ja, übrigens auf dem T-Shirt, ja, der geht's auch nicht mehr so gut. Auf dem T-Shirt vom DJ steht, ähm, wie heißt es? Schicksal. She's wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Ach, it's not that. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I had gone too far. Hey. Why did you come tonight? Membership dues? Don't laugh, but I had a weird vibe this might actually be the last Vortex Club party. End of the world, right? I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Tia. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. I was for the cloud and see I will be. I think my photo is very I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but... You know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So, why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean. Hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. 
I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. Hallo, du hast so viel Talent, du hast es gar nicht nötig. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Mm. Wir sind keine Feinde. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Wir waren uns hier natürlich. Hallo? Listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her something dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Gut, das ist doch richtig gut gelaufen. Und da kommt Mrs. Chloe. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. Yep, that gives me Sicherheit for me. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just... Looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, look, 
I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Oh. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Also, Entschuldigung, aber das riecht ja nach einer Falle. Aber der Mond wird schwächer, immerhin. Vielleicht gibt's noch Hoffnung. Aber ich glaube, ihr reitet euch da gerade ein bisschen in die Scheiße mit dem, was ihr da tut. Ich glaube, ihr müsst euch nicht fallen. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. Max, please hurry! Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? Wirklich. Eine Falle von Mr. Jefferson. Okay.
Okay. Ich bin mal gespannt, was das Spiel da für eine Erklärung für uns in der nächsten Episode hat. Das war eine der längsten, also das war bis jetzt die längste Episode her von der Aufnahme und von allem. Ich lasse euch die Credits durchlaufen und wir sehen uns bei Auswertung, falls mein Computer noch genug Speicherplatz hat, das hier aufzunehmen.
So, so was das Spiel so alles weiß. Dann würde ich sagen, war es das mit dieser Folge und bis zum nächsten Mal zu Life is Strange Episode 5.